This episode of Soji Knows Best is brought to you by Audible. Hey, what's up, guys? Soji Knows Best here. This is my review of the Samsung Go microphone. This is not just some brand new product that just came out. It's been out for a little while, but I was looking for a device to help me when I'm traveling to get really good audio, better audio than my built-in microphones on my laptop. And also, I didn't want to have to carry around a, a portable microphone, not really portable, just like my desktop microphone and stuff like that to get really good quality. So I decided to pick up this device. It's going to see how it actually performed. So first, we're going to take a look at the design and the hardware. And when I first took this thing out of the packaging and held it in my hand for the first time, this is just the definition of portable it's very compact very small can fit in your pockets very easily and uh, it seems to be pretty secure in this travel configuration here but then when you want to go ahead and start using it just put your thumb on this little uh, clip on the right hand side of it and you pull out the microphone and boom you're all set to go so just looking at the microphone itself you can see it looks good it looks clean it looks nice um, and on the left hand side of it you do have a headphone jack and also you have a micro USB port and that's gonna be used to hook that up uh, via USB to your computer go ahead and start using it and then on the other side you have a little switch there to switch it between the cardioid or the omnidirectional pattern so you'll be able to get a nice podcasting type of feel um, if you just want to have just it capture your audio or you can go omnidirectional and pick up the audio from the entire room itself now now, using this microphone itself, it has two different ways you can use it. Uh, so when you just use it in the default, it is actually a little stand. So once you pull the microphone out, you can set that right in your desk and you can um, position the microphone in, in multiple different ways here because it's on this little rotating ball and position the microphone to be able to get the, the best capturing uh, as far as capturing the audio. Or we can use it in a clip configuration where you can clip this right on top of my MacBook Air screen that I'm doing right now. So there's going to be um, a kind of eye level positions, which is going to be kind of better in some situations as far as capturing the audio if you want to do it like that, if you don't have like a desk or something to sit it on and so overall i would say the design is pretty compact it's pretty sturdy it doesn't feel cheap and uh, it looks stylish too. i do like the overall look of it because it looks like a, a cool desktop microphone that just been shrinked down so design and hardware is pretty nice now it's time to test out the audio that you get from this microphone so right now i'm talking to you via the built-in microphone in my imac which gets you the same type of quality that you get for really any built-in microphone from any type of laptop you're going to be on the go so right now you can tell that the audio sucks this is something that you don't want to use as a voiceover or for a podcast or anything like that so you, this is something that is not ideal for you but right now i'm going to switch over to the samsung go mic in three two one now here I am talking, I had a little pause there for some reason, I thought I was going to cut this video, but I'm not. But anyway, now I'm talking to you on the Samsung Go microphone. So you can tell that I have this little thing right here in front of me, it's about, uh, it's about 10 inches, 11 inches away from me sitting here on the desk and I have it pointed up just a little bit towards me. So it this, this really isn't the best ideal either. I would like to probably have this a little bit closer, but you can get a, a sense of how good or how better this audio quality is uh, versus a built-in microphone that you probably using on your laptop if you're on the go. It also has a little indicator if it's, uh, if it's peaks, uh, the little green light on the front of it will actually turn red. So that's a nice little thing there you can see. So anyway, uh, the audio is pretty nice. So there you go. All right, so now it's time to wrap up this review of the Samsung Go microphone. So what do I think about it overall? I think this is a very nice portable solution to get really nice sounding audio besides using your built-in microphone as I just did in that test. It absolutely sucks. And I'm still using the Samsung Go microphone, by the way, uh, to film this little outro. Uh, but anyway, it's a very nice portable solution. It is very compact. It can fit in your pocket. It fit in your back pocket. It can fit in your bra. Well, it can fit anywhere, just take it, take it like that. Now, one negative thing about this microphone is that if you do have an older laptop, something that may have a thicker display, it may not clip on the top of that. But if you have like a MacBook Air or even a MacBook Pro, just really a laptop that was built probably within uh, the last three years, you should be fine. Uh, but some cases people have reported it, it doesn't clip onto older displays or older laptops that may have thicker things on it. But um, you can still use it in any desktop configuration where you can just set it next to the keyboard on the desk that that is a problem for you. But overall, we have to say this microphone is very portable. Um, it's a nice little pack. It's very compact uh, and it produces really good audio since it is a USB condenser microphone. Uh, you can just plug in it via USB. You don't have to worry about anything else. And it's definitely going to get you better sounding audio and then what's coming out of uh, your built in microphone. And for the price, I was able to buy this thing on Amazon for about 40 bucks. So that's not a bad price at all. Uh, I think regular retail, they said it was about 80, but go to Amazon. You probably get a, a good price for it. Uh, so anyway, this little microphone is very nice. I can recommend it. I like it. I give it a salute and I can't wait to start using this with my first trip. Uh, not first trip, but my next trip to CES here in January well I'll be probably using this thing for the most part so anyway guys this is my review of it but before we head out here it's going to take one let's look at our sponsor for this video
Today's sponsor is Audible. Audible has over 100,000 audiobooks to choose from in every different genre from science fiction to thrillers to dramas to comedy. And since it is audio form, you can download to your iPod or your MP3 player and listen to them while you're working out or while you're at work or driving to work in that case. And they even have the latest Steve Jobs book as well in audio form. Uh, so you're going to listen to that where no matter where you are. So we want to try it out and get a free book and go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash soldier right now today since you are a soldier knows best viewer and go ahead and get on your free book and see if it's something that you may want to do. So again, go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash soldier. All right, guys, but well, this brings the end to this video. But again, leave a comment down below about what you think about this Samsung Go microphone. It's something that you will pick up. If you actually do have it, leave your little mini review down below. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.